What up, what up, world? I hope you guys are having fun out there. I'm having a blast. So check it out this morning. Um, I read the article that 511 published their blog. Um, it's, you know, in my own words. But man, it was like, like if I can be honest, it was like motivating for me to read the thing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's okay to pat yourself on the back. And uh, I'm going to put it here so you guys can swipe up and check out this 511 article. Yeah, if you're interested in learning more about me and where I come from, what I'm made of, and um, how you can get into the executive protection industry or as a civilian, protect yourself better. There's all kinds of stuff in there for that. Boom, yo, what up, world? Uh, here's a little little video about some things that I've been kind of like hammering through. Um, you know, I've been on like a run in my life these last woo, few years or so where I've just been hammering on stuff and I've been like fighting and growing and expanding. Um, and at first, it's really interesting. And at first, like the values are like, hey, sleep when you're dead. You know what I mean? Like hammer now, sleep later. Who cares about your feelings? Get into action, get it done. You know, that's, that's really the game. And there's such a place for that because that's how you gain momentum. You know, like when you're first starting out, you're going to be doing a lot of things to stay in your head, to stay in your comfort zone. And you're not even going to realize you're doing it. Okay. And what ends up happening after a while is you start to, um, you start to, if you can get out of your head and you can get into action and you can create momentum, you then find yourself in a place where it's like, okay, sweet. Well, now that I have momentum, I'm not going to lose this because momentum is a cruel mistress, right? Um, now that I have this momentum, I'm going to hammer and you just start going crazy and you're like, boom, 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 boom. And you're just like hammering on tasks, right? And you're killing things and you're dropping targets and you're building Frankenstein and you're like getting after it, which is stinking amazing. But if you're not smart, you have to learn and understand the principle of balance. Like, man, I used to hate this, this, this principle because I'm a Marine, you know, like I'm a war fighter glamorous about it we're not special forces like we, we we technically are but we're not like we don't get to go uh back to base and sleep in a bed and have satellite phones and like take showers like nah dude like we're out there for months and months for weeks and weeks not showering for three weeks two weeks you know three weeks at a time not sleeping on rotation you know like uh six to eight month eight month deployment like you know, there's nothing like special about it. It's hard and it sucked. And, you know, it just was gritty and grimy. You know what I mean? Like, and, and you still have to shave your face. You know what I mean? So anyways, all I'm saying is I got to go really hard uh, for things that I believed in at one point in time or didn't believe it, but I know how, it, how to go hard. It's like, that's the expectation. I'm going to go just as hard, if not harder for what it is I love, you know, um, than I ever did for what it was I was forced to go march up a hill and possibly die over. So now it's my turn to create something. Now it's your turn to create something for you, for your family. What's it gonna be? That's really the question, you know, and you can act as tough as you want, but facing this question down and consistently fighting this war, this is what separates the men from the boys. This is, this is just it. This is just it. Like, are you engaged in this battle to unlock your potential and create something, you know, and create a life that is worthy of what you know is inside your heart and what you were sent here to create? Or are you ostriching, man? Are you hiding and like just trying to do your whatever and, and running from that? You have to learn the art of balance. You have to learn the art of rest. Uh, otherwise you will, you will gas out and you will die tired. So, you know, I've learned that, you know, I sleep this many hours. I sleep from 11 to 4 a.m. That is enough sleep for me to be in the zone. There's a there's a, there's a a genetic component to that. I never have required much sleep. Uh, my dad doesn't either. Um, but also there's a, like, powering through um, masculine, strong, aggressive, violent quality to that as well where, you know, I'm not going to fail. And I'll do whatever it takes, you know, to get it done. And I sleep as a thing to do. My sleep is a uh, productive, like, integer of my life. 
everything is purposeful, your purpose when you find it, if you can court purpose enough to find really what it is that brings you alive, a life, brings you to life, um, it'll add a lot of gravity to your life. So I, everything now has purpose, that purpose permeates my life. I sleep with a purpose to be better at achieving my purpose. I rest with a purpose to refit, make sure I stay psychologically balanced, clear, good enough to be creative, to go after my purpose. I eat with a purpose. I eat in a way that helps me be more efficient, effective, look better, and do everything I need to do in order to be better at accomplishing my purpose. Yeah, you know I mean, um, I, I love with a purpose. I'm present with those who I love with a purpose. I take care of those who I love with a purpose because that brings glory to my God and all rolls into the quality of the Byron I can use uh, uh, to fulfill my destiny in this present purpose. So that's really the game we're playing here. The principle is you have to learn how to rest with a purpose. You have to learn how to balance with a purpose. And until you learn to do these things, you just simply can't play the long game. Like you can't, you, I will be fresher, more creative, uh, happier, which permeates my work, right? Um, and, and, and more efficient, more effective. Uh, because I will be able to bring a higher quality Byron to bear on the battlefield of purpose as a result of these disciplines of balance and rest uh, and efficient systems that I'm talking about. So that's really all I wanted to tell you guys is learn the art of what your body needs with regards to nutrition, with regards to what you're feeding it mentally, with regards to your physical regimen, your daily regimen. With regards to play, I play with a purpose. Saturday is my play day as often as possible because I go so hard in the paint <laughs> during the week. You know what I mean? So these things, nothing is without purpose. We make all things serve us by the grace of God. Uh, this is the alchemy of life, right? So anyways, love you guys. Good luck today. Make it happen. Don't let anyone or anything ask more of you than you demand from yourself. Dream like you live forever. Fight like you're going to die tonight.